Spider-Man 2 has just got a whole lot more serious because it is now confirmed. From the new map size details finally coming out, brutal symbiote finishes and a major in-game feature we also wanted to be true is now true. And lastly, we have been told they have prepared some quote unquote unexpected situations that they have never done before. But what exactly is that? If you can leave a like, it helps a ton, but turn that into a dislike if you get to the end and did not enjoy the video. So things are getting more serious for Spider-Man 2 and it's clear the marketing is in full swing, especially with, and to quickly refresh your memory, only 8 days to go until the future game show, which shows new trailers and announcements for upcoming games, where Peter's voice actor Yuri will be hosting and of course he told people on Twitter to make sure they quote unquote swing in which of course seems like an intentional pun teasing more Spider-Man 2 footage but on the new build that they have been teasing these past few days. But not just that because Marvel Spider-Man 2's open world is twice the size of the original game. So creative director Brian Interhart and the game's director Ryan Smith basically opened up about the new map which also includes Queens and several other unconfirmed boroughs saying and I quote in terms of the size of the city it's double the size compared to Spider-Man 1. When you play in Queens there's much more of a neighborhood feel. Smaller buildings with which is why the web wings work so well traversing in that area where you can swing low to the ground if you want to or you can fly through. I think you'll find these areas very different from Manhattan. We've also prepared some unexpected situations that we haven't done before, like a battle on the river between two of the cities, so I hope you'll look forward to them. Now technically, that's not just all they've teased there in terms of the unexpected situations and I'll go into that a little bit more in a moment but technically if Marvel Spider-Man has an average main story completion time of give or take 17 hours and the sequel has a map that's twice as large it stands to reason that the game could boast upwards of a 30 hour average playtime but with that being said do take that with a grain of salt until we know for sure but in my opinion it does make a lot of sense. Now it don't stop there because what they said next blew my mind into so many dimensions and as it stands the only thing that feels bigger than Spider-Man 2's map size right now is instant gaming's ridiculously amazing deals on games and more. Today's video is sponsored by Instant Gaming, the site that gives you the best and hottest games out right now for up to 70% off on any platform instant, no pun intended. For example, you can get Hogwarts Legacy right now for 27% off, not to mention the Deluxe Edition for 25% off. But it's not just games that are out, you can also save yourself a bunch of money on pre-orders too. The best part of it all is it's just a simple click to order, head out to the checkout and in a matter of minutes the code for the game on whatever platform you chose would have landed in your mailbox ready for you to download and they even have support available 24-7. One thing that I have to say I love the most however is the variety. From PC, Playstation, Xbox and even Nintendo, the catalogue of games they have is truly extensive. Now you can get PSN cards as well at you guessed it, a discount. So check out Instant Gaming and use my code to save yourself even more right now. The link is in the description below. Now where we have been told they have prepared some unexpected situations they have not done before, what exactly is that? Well this ties perfectly into the next thing that has finally been confirmed and I really do mean Finally, it's how character switching in Spider-Man 2 works and it really gives off the GTA 5 feel in terms of switching characters but when you switch into them you can basically be faced with random scenarios. So they have said and again I quote 
when you are playing the main story, we control when you switch between Peter and Miles. It's done in service to the story when we are making those switches for sure. So as you saw on that gameplay reveal, which is a segment of the main story, we are predetermining those based on what we want to do for how that story plays out. Now quick interruption here, I'm assuming that he's actually referring to the supposedly face-off that is going to happen of course between Miles and Peter. Now he did continue to say, and again I quote, we have content designed around Peter, we have content designed around Miles, and we have content where you can play either. You'll be able to, in the open world, freely switch between them with a simple button press, and that is thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5. Being able to switch in the open world so quickly between the two characters is really, really awesome. Just being able to pick and choose who I want to play as for a certain activity but most importantly it's just been so awesome to have that feature and it's something that we probably wouldn't have explored previously now if you think it stops here you are wrong because the next thing he said is even more exciting so brian has said that the symbiote finishers are borderline brutal he says we understand that the expectations for the symbiote are really really high and we wanted it to feel different than what you would normally see he then explained how of course peter and miles and so much of their moveset is based on fluidity speed acrobatic and and then the symbiote is basically just power, it's strength, it's aggression, and I think we want to make sure that from a gameplay standpoint, that was represented. He then described the symbiote suit's new finishers as much more aggressive and borderline brutal, which has got me very, very excited. And of course, if you take into account that he said we have different content planned for all, Peter and then of course for Miles, I mean it's an absolute no-brainer when you are taking that character switching element into perspective and if you compare it to a game like GTA 5 and content etc etc, there is no doubt we're going to see different sides to what's going on in their own individual worlds and of course depending how that story ends, is there going to be situations where Peter is faced between, okay well which side do I go to and you maybe have that option or are they things that kind of you know just genuinely try to pull him back into that world, that's where things Things are going to get very very interesting and to top it all off as I mentioned at the start there are eight days left and some think that PlayStation are keeping up their sleeves for this game and when I say keeping up their sleeves for this game we're talking in particular that new build version of the game because what we have seen right now is fantastic despite the ridiculous complaints that it looks like a PS3 game which is just insane but like I said eight days left and something plays PlayStation are keeping up their sleeves, so check out the video that you see on screen right now to find out more information on what exactly that stuff is.